Okay, I want to make this a little practical video, just one of those things that I've learned along the way. Uh, when Nicole's father died, uh, he left her a bunch of things, and uh, a bunch of debt too. Uh, not unmanageable, but uh, it had to be dealt with, and uh, it was of a size that neither of us were used to dealing with. And he left a mansion, a beautiful mansion up on the hill, and there was somebody on owed on it. but. Uh, the sisters, my wife and her sister, said that if they could sell it, they could alleviate a lot of the debt load from the inheritance as well. And so they put it on the market, and it was on the market for a year, and nothing happened with the man who knew these markets. And my mentor, Martin Sage, came to do a class. The phones weren't working. They were uh, in the States, he and his entourage. Uh, from the states and they were looking for a phone. The phones weren't working. It was a complicated system 20 some years ago in Switzerland. We finally got a phone after we had completed a weekend. Uh, plugged the phone in, the phone was ringing and it was a uh, Mr. Klobodetscher. And he said he wanted to come by and look at the house. Well, we'd been kind of living in it. So we said, well, that's not really presentable. He said, I don't care. I want to come by and look at it today. And he'd come by with uh, uh, one of the employees of Nicole's dad's uh, what happened was the contract with this real estate guy was up almost that day. Uh, we just plugged the phone in and started working. So there was all these synchronous events. And the man showed up uh, and then came back the next day with his wife. And we had been discussing just uh, generalizations, kind of uh, rules that aren't rules, things that may be so. And the man, uh, Mr. Klavodich, came back with his wife, a beautiful woman. And we were sitting, and behind the house was a cogwheel train that went up the side of the mountain. They have them in Switzerland, and they go just out of cities and up high so you can overlook and get to different places. It's a, it's a form of transportation. But I was with Mia, and Mia was about mm, 16, 15 months, something like that. I had her in my arms, and I heard this little train coming up, and we talked, and, I, and this woman had two children. And I stood up, and I said to Mia, wave goodbye to your train. Uh, it's some other little kid's train now. They're going to have that train in their yard. And I felt the woman move into the house. I felt her take possession of the house. Uh, we hired a man to handle the negotiations because it was way more than anything that we'd ever done or considered. And a few weeks later, he said, I can't, I don't get a sense of whether, you know, he said, I can feel nibbling on the hook, but I don't get a sense of whether or not the hook is set. And we were looking at a, a number. Um, it, the lowest we needed to get to offset everything was 165000 The most we could ask for was 365000 And I said, okay, well, tomorrow I'm going to the warehouse with Mr. Klobodetscher. And uh, what he was buying was Nicole's dad's lifestyle. And her dad had a lot of art in storage. I said, once he sees the art, particularly the art that Court liked, uh, I said, I'll pretty much set the hook for you. And he started laughing. He said, I don't know what you're, if what you're saying is true, but he said, he said, I find how you think fascinating. Yeah, the next day we went to the warehouse and we showed him some of the art pieces that were included in the sale. And the next day, the negotiations were going on at the house. I got to the house and uh, our, negotiator, our negotiator was sitting there and he turned to me and he said, uh, Mr. Klavodetscher has agreed to uh, 340000 And I got laughing. I thought, why aren't the champagne corks popping at this point in time? But just as general rule, uh, some of the things, if you look at them, maybe they work, maybe they don't, but uh, they're interesting to look at, interesting to consider, and interesting to utilize, and if you know them, and you're in sales. www.micpeakperformance.com